guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a first impression video on the Huda Beauty palette, uh, the Desert Dusk palette, and her little lip kit. This one is in Trendsetter. I have never tried any of the Huda Beauty products until today. But just in case you're wondering, I did end up loving both of these products. They were absolutely amazing. Um, I will go into detail um, throughout the voiceover, but yeah, overall, I really love the lip products. The liner was super creamy and the color was absolutely beautiful and it matched perfectly with this uh, liquid lipstick, which is also in Trendsetter and it is so delicious smelling oh my gosh it smells amazing it smells ugh, like you want to eat it and i don't know what it's it's like a baked good is what it smells like obviously but it's like a chocolate cupcake or something i'm not sure and i also really like this lip gloss in snobby it i don't know it just goes so well with the liquid lipstick and makes your lips look all juicy and beautiful and I'm obsessed with the packaging on both of these products. I talked about the packaging a little bit in my What I Got for Christmas. I'll link that below. But I really do like the weight of this palette and uh, the packaging. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. And then you open it up and you get these beautiful colors. <sighs> my goal for today's look was just to try out as many colors as possible and there are definitely more warm toned uh, eyeshadows in this palette than there are cool tone but um yeah that's the reason why i went with this eyeshadow look and i wanted an eye look that paired well with the trendsetter lipstick i ended up using about 10 out of the 18 eyeshadows um so yeah i got a pretty good feel for it i did not get to use like this super chunky one <laughs> which i really wanted to but i cannot find my glitter glue I, I don't know where it went i don't know but hopefully i will get to do a future makeup tutorial using that because uh, this is the first one to catch my eye like the first eyeshadow that my eye automatically drew to. Uh, I really like the colors. The matte shadows were so super creamy and really easy to blend. I did have a little trouble blending this out into the crease after, I guess I did too many layers, uh, I don't know. And my skin has been so incredibly dry, so that could be a reason why I was having a little bit of trouble, but in the end, I mean, it blended out fine. Um, the only shadow that I, you know, was just all right was Nefertiti. It um, is beautiful. The color, like in the pan, is beautiful, but it's very like chunky, glittery, and it's not very opaque of a color. Uh, I definitely had to use Fix Plus, and even still, I, was, I mean, I wasn't too impressed, but. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful in the pan, <laughs> and I really like the name, but other than that, I mean, it was amazing. It was amazing. I love this palette. I really do love this palette. I'm so glad that I ended up getting it. Um, I read through so many reviews, watched so many reviews and swatches, and um, I usually try to do as much research as possible before I spend my hard-earned money on a palette. So yeah, this one had uh, really good reviews, was really popular, hyped up, but for good reason. I mean, the colors are absolutely beautiful and it was, I don't know, I, I mean, you can see it, it turned out really well and yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got this for myself. Any of the products that I fast forward through, like for the rest of my face, um, that aren't Huda Beauty related, I will list down below or I will show it right here, I guess. 
So overall, I have to give these two products a big thumbs up. I am so happy that I picked both of these items up because I'm in love. I am in love. Alrighty guys, so first off, we are starting with primer. This is just one from Urban Decay, one that I got a long time ago actually. And it's in this little annoying pouch, so I just wanted to get it over with. Um, and then I am dipping straight into desert sand to set down that primer. There was quite a lot of kick up for this eyeshadow, but it was so creamy, I had to look past it. And as always, I am watching Friends in the background, so if you see me bust out in laughter, that's why. And then for my transition shade, I am using the color Eden, which is this really pretty salmon color, is the best way I can describe it. And then for the crease, I went in with Blazing, and then later on I went in with Amber to deepen the crease a little bit. These matte shades are so pigmented and creamy and just so easy to blend. I, I was amazed. I truly was amazed. To deepen up the outer crease a little bit, I went in with this color called Oud, I believe is how you pronounce it, O-U-D. It's this beautiful brown color and I love it. I went in with a very small amount because this is super pigmented. Then with a flat shader brush, I applied this beautiful color called Blood Moon all over my eyelids. This shade was already so incredibly pigmented as you can see, but just to make it a little bit more foiled, I did spray some setting spray just to make it stand out a little bit more. I wanted a more cranberry color to my eyelids, so I added Turkish Delight right on top. And this is me being completely mesmerized by this beautiful duochrome color called Celestial. I mean, it's not even duochrome, it's like triple chrome. I, I'm not even sure. In the light, it switches from green to pink to gold. I, I, I don't even know. It's, it's magic. And then I went back to that desert sand color that we used in the beginning to lighten up my brow bone. And then I went back into the crease with those two colors we used before, amber and blazing. And for more depth, I went back in with oud. And for more intensity and even more warmth, I went in with this color saffron, which is this beautiful maroon matte shade. I also did end up reapplying the celestial color in the middle of my eyelids because most of it did get blended away as eyeshadows usually do. Now this color, Nefertiti, is the one that frustrated me. It was literally like just loose glitter. So I went in with beige and rosé in my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I don't know why, but I was so determined to get this Nefertiti eyeshadow to work. I tried it in my inner corner, I tried spraying Fix Plus um, to help with the color, but then I just ended up going in with Celestial in the inner corner first, and then applied Nefertiti on top. For the bottom lash line, I basically just mirrored what I did on the top lid. I used blazing, saffron, and amber. And then on the very outer corner, I used oud to darken it up. So here, I just went ahead and finished the rest of my face. All of the details will be listed down below. And now finally, it's time to try out the lip products. This lip liner in Trendsetter is so creamy and delicious. I love this color. The only thing that I would change about it is if it were retractable, I think it would be just 10 times better because I hate 
sharpening pencils, but other than that, it is literally the perfect lip liner. And now on to the liquid matte lipstick. I love this, love it. It matches so perfectly with the lip liner and it smells delicious. And I don't know, it's like the perfect nude. I, I love it. There was the tiniest bit of transfer, but I can totally look past that because of how much I love the color and the non-drying formula. And now finally onto this beauty. This lip gloss is called Snobby. And when I first saw this in the lip kit, I was like, this is not gonna go with the liquid lipstick, but oh my gosh, it creates just the perfect sheen and it makes your lips look so juicy and plump. And wow, I just, I love the combination. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial slash first impressions slash mini review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And the Huda Booty contour and booty. Oh my gosh, Huda Booty. And I wanted something to go with the lips as well. No. Makeup tutorial slash 